Did you ever miss someone so badly that you can't think of anything else? Sometimes you see their face everywhere, or their voice still haunts you. Sometimes being in places you used to be together can make it even harder. There are people called mediums who say they can use these feelings to help people contact the spirits of departed loved ones. I don't know if it works, but I figure if you lost someone close to you, someone you love, or maybe someone you never got the chance to love, isn't it worth a try? I mean, how can it be wrong to hope? is calling her faithful manager and loyal band are here to pick up the music for her next big hit where is everybody where do you think they're musicians kitchen yeah you're already out of ham She will not believe the guy we hired to paint our garage. He is not just cute, we're talking sculptural. Hey, Candy. So, what are we doing tonight? We could go catch a movie. We could go skating, hit the mall. What do you think? Actually, I uh, wanted to go to the seance thing at Community College. This amazing medium's going to be there, named Leopold Martin. Oh, well, like I said, a movie, mall, contact the spirit world, whatever. No, really. I mean, he lectures all over the world. He's been on TV. I've always wanted to meet him, but we've never been in the same city. Well, are you sure you don't want to go to the mall? Because it's new. And it's haunted. You'd like it. Really? Yeah, and uh, Bigfoot works at the food court. Um, they sell little baby Loch Ness monsters in the pet shop. Okay, okay, malls are good. I like them all. We'll go tomorrow, I promise. Just uh, please do this with me tonight. You're really stressing about your pop, huh? Ever since we got home, I can't shake the feeling like he's here. Maybe it's all the old stuff. His pictures. Uh, look, Via, I know that you miss your dad like major. I know that you loved him. And maybe death isn't the end. I don't know. But uh, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to reach him. Candy, I'm not giving up. Okay, okay. So, seance wear, is it like formal, casual, what? Casual's okay. Okay, now come on, my ESP is telling me our house painter needs a couple of hot babes to bring him lemonade. Great tune, Molly. I don't know. Irene says it has promise. Irene says it's going to blow everyone in L.A. away, which means record deals, which means more concerts at bigger venues. Which means Irene and Ned will be able to afford two sons in college. <laughs> Cassettes. The sheet music. And some more ham. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Do your homework, everybody. The session starts tomorrow at 3. And um, see you then. Thanks. I can't wait to see you back in our old studio. You and Rick, you laid down some great tracks in that place. Yeah. I've been thinking about that. Well, this one will be great, too, as soon as Miss Picky stops asking me 40 times a day if it's good enough yet. I'm not picky. I'm thorough. Well, they ain't paid to hear you talk, honey, so you better sing. What did you just say? What? Um, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> what? What did I say? They ain't paying to hear you talk, so you better sing. Rick used to whisper that in my ear before every show. Those exact words. Oh, well, you, you probably told me once. No. No, I never told anybody. Then, it's good luck. Because I think Rick would love this song. Wow. There are a lot of people here. Yeah. I hope you can get to everybody. You know, Fee, you just gotta 
Go with the flow. I mean, you don't know if this is going to work or not, okay? You promise me? Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. Pretty weird we're at a seance, huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not usually very mystical or anything. I, I don't know about you, but um, I lost a, a good friend. Her name was Carol. It was so sudden. I, I, I guess I came here tonight because I hoped, you know, I'm Fiona. V. Hi. And this is Candy. Hi. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Sorry to just blurt it all out like that. I don't know why. It's okay. Yeah. That's why most of us are here, right? You for your friend. You for my dad. Yeah. Died when I was three. Well, I'm sorry. That's so young. At least I had a chance to get to know my friend. I know some things. His name was Rick. He played the guitar. He loved my mom. You know, that man over there? He lost his daughter. Lots of us are missing someone. Maybe, maybe tonight's worth it. Just to know we're not alone. Welcome, everyone. I am Leopold Martin. No applause, please. This is not a show. What I do is real. In fact, it is my sincere hope that tonight will change your very definition of reality. I can't guarantee that I will be able to help all of you tonight, but I will help some of you. And all of you will leave with a new understanding that we do go on. Hear, hear us, hear us. Susan? Oh, miss you, Susan. Carol? Uh, Carol, it's me. Hear me, Susan. I do. I hear you. Another of us must speak. <gasps> a father seeks a daughter. hear my music? Daddy? Fiona? No. Not your voice. Yes, it's me. I'm just older. It's still me. Remember? So many years. Oh, I want to remember, Dad. But you gotta help me. Please, Daddy. Miss you. Goodbye, Fiona. No! Not yet! Daddy? Tina? Love, Tina? Tina? Is that you? Miss you, Daddy. It's incredible. Sorry, Daddy. You mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I could never be mad at you. Mainly because I never had a daughter named Tina. Who interrupts the circle? Give it up, Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Patrick Raymond, and I'm here to say you've all been victims of a fraud. How, how dare you? I'm trying to help these people. But I heard it. I heard my dad. No. You heard a talented actor repeating whatever you said to that woman right there. That's not true. She works for him. I've got pictures from a dozen seances to prove it. He can't talk to your father any more than he can talk to your dead hamster or my non-existent daughter. He is a fake. He's a liar. I don't know this woman. Really? Then you must know a lot of women who look just like her. My friends, please. Turn this way, Mr. Martin. I want the camera to get your best side while you try to explain this. You're making a huge mistake. You're right. The news crew can get the whole thing on video. Come on in, guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, kid, why aren't you sleeping? Because someone isn't abiding by her own no music after midnight rule. I'm sorry. I was trying to keep it down. I'll let it go this time. So, are you ready to record the song? I don't think I'm going to. Are you kidding? It's a great tune. It rocks, Mom. You have to put it on a demo. Jack, it feels like something's missing. What do you mean? Like, like, like another verse? Maybe. Mom, is everything okay? I'm just doing a little rewriting. Just part of the process. Just go to bed and, um, I'll try and keep it down. This is it, huh? Yeah. All right, and you're sure you don't want me to go in with you? No, it's okay. Mr. Raymond. Hi, I'm Fee Phillips. Uh, we met at the seance. Oh, yeah, what do you want? I looked you up on the web, and it said you've written three books of all the debunking you've done. Four? I didn't even bother to publish the last one. Telling the truth is a lousy way to make a living. The only reason I can afford to chase after these jerks is this business gives me cheap air for... Actually, I think it's kind of cool that you expose all the frauds out there. I mean, how else are we going to know when the real phenomena happen, right? Okay, here it comes. Here what comes? You're here to tell me you're not like those other suckers out there. You've actually seen angels. You know for sure UFOs are real. Well, guess what? No, they aren't. No, you haven't. And unless you're here to book a vacation, you won't get any help from me. Well, but you're an expert at this. You can tell me which spiritualists are real. Aren't you listening? None of them. They're all fake. Just like alien autopsies and psychic call-in shows and guys who bend spoons with their minds. It's all garbage. Okay, Martin was a fake, but there's got to be someone else out there. Kid, I've been doing this for ten years. There's nobody out there who can give you what you're looking for. You can't know that. Don't tell me what I know. If I'd seen the real thing, I'd know it. How? How could you? Because I am the real thing. <sighs> Please, leave. You're, you're a medium? Look, this is stupid. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. You say all mediums are liars and fakes, and you say they're exception. Why should I believe you? I don't care if you believe me. I wasn't like Martin or the others. I didn't put on a show. I didn't like being what I was. Who in their right mind would want to be able to talk to the dead? Wait, if you can really do that, then you can help me. Listen to you. One second I'm a phony, the next second you want my help. Well, too bad. I can't do it anymore, so it doesn't matter. Why? What happened? How should I know? It worked for a while, then after my wife died, it stopped. So I went to see others who said they could do what I did. They were all fake. Not one of them came up with Amanda's name. Not one! They were all lying. So I started exposing them. And if I live long enough, I'll expose them all. So don't waste your time. Forget your father. And get on with your life. You know, you're so angry. You don't even see what it's done to you. <sighs> Hold it, hold it, I want to go again. What? It's not right. Molly, what is up with you? We have five takes that are perfectly okay. Okay is good enough for you? Oh, so now you have a problem with me? Whoa, 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 hold on, guys. None of us wants one of those cliche rock band on the verge of success breakups, huh? I want it to be good. I want it to be good too, Molly. We're a team, remember? What's the problem? If you don't know, who does? Look, guys, let's just try it one more time. You try. I'm taking a break. But after that, no more discussion. They ain't paying to hear you talk, honey. So you better sing. This is not going to work. What's the matter? 
matter. I can't do it. It's wrong. It's too many voices. Molly. No, thanks. We're not buying it. Please, Fee. Your brother said... My brother? What does this have to do with him? He came to see me. Didn't you know? No. Oh. He said... Well, I won't repeat everything he said. It was rather colorful, but the gist of it was... I owe you an apology. Jack did that? Yes. So I'm here to make amends. How? By helping you reach your father. My wife, Amanda, she was so beautiful, so smart. She was only 31 when... I was so angry when she died. It was so unfair. When my power stopped, I blamed, I don't know, the universe. It was just one more thing, one more unfair thing, one more thing to be angry about. Until you ran out of my office and your brother told me how much I'd hurt you, I guess. I never thought about how far gone I was or that maybe my anger was why my power stopped. I miss her every day. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm not angry today. Is this him? Yeah. I need an object. Something of his. long time and it was never it didn't always work play it I, I only know a few chords just play whatever comes person today who has an ability to communicate with spirits if that's what you call them stop it please fiona just let it go mom don't say it it was my father i'm not letting him go what's wrong with everybody why am i the only one in this house that cares he's gone you know that's not true you don't know what it's like for me you're right Honey, I would give anything to help you and Jack. But Fia, I can't even fix myself. I know, but Mom... No. Fiona, you don't know. It's every day. It's everywhere. Especially in this house. I, I, I hate it. And that's terrible. To hate the memories. But I think they keep me stuck. He... I can't... 
move forward. And I blame him because he won't leave me alone. That's what you want? Honey, I can't have what I want. He was my husband. My love. My best friend. And my dad. What do you want me to say? Anything. Give me that. I want you to curl your left hand around the neck just a little bit more. It's going to give you better contact with the strings. Okay? Okay. 